Hello everyone, welcome to Kestrel Squad. So this is the second part of video of Hong Kong PhD Fellowship Scheme. In previous video, I submitted the uh, initial application for PhD Fellowship Scheme and uh, after submitting the initial application, I received this email. So guys, when you submit the initial application of Hong Kong PhD Fellowship Scheme, you will receive the email like this. This email confirmation is automatically generated after initial application by the Hong Kong PhD Fellowship Scheme. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in the Hong Kong PhD Fellowship Scheme. We are pleased to confirm that your initial application has been successfully sent to us. And uh, your HKPFS reference number is this. Please use this link to log into the HKP FSCS to review or amend your submission. So guys, if you want to review your application or you want to make some changes in your application, then just click this link and uh, log in. After login, you can change, you can make some changes in your application. So what is your login ID and password? Your login ID is your email address which you have submitted in your HKPFS initial application. And your login password is eight digit number comprising of the following parts. So the first two digits of your password are your month of birth. For example, uh, if your month of birth is January, then you write 01. And uh, if your month of birth is December, then you will write 12. The third and fourth digit are your date of birth. So like this, the last four digits are the first four numeric digits of your passport or your identity document number as submitted on your initial application. So for example, John Smith birthday is 8th January and his passport number is M4321987. So how uh, John Smith make his password? The first two digits are the month of birth. So his month of birth is January. So the first two digit of password will be 01. And the date of birth is 8th. So third and fourth digit of password is 08. And uh, last four digits are first four password digits 4321. So here you can see the password of John Smith is 01. 084321 so like this you will make your password by your information please keep your hkpfs reference number and login password for future reference and uh, please proceed with submitting full application to your chosen university initial application without accompanying full application will not be further considered important note only those with full application completed will be further considered so to submit full application, just click the uh, link of university. You can submit full application. So for example, I submit the application of Lingnan University. So to submit full application, just click this link. And uh, here you can see the website of Lingnan University. Here you can see online application, access to online application. An applicant may assess the university online admission system via the internet only one program can be applied for in one application. An applicant who wishes to apply for two programs has to submit two applications. Second is number of applications. An applicant is expected to submit one application indicated in one program choice. The maximum number of programs an applicant may apply for is two. Third is uploading documents. The applicant should substantiate the qualification entered on the application form by uploading the following documents to the online admission system. First is a copy of the graduation certificate and transcript with a complete record of courses attended and examination results of his or undergraduate studies and above. And a copy of the relevant documents, reports of G, MAT, TOEFL results and certificate of professional qualification. HKPFS applicants are additionally required to submit the following supporting documents. A brief research plan, a vision statement, a statement of his or own international experience and a TOEFL IELTS test report. So from here you can check the uh, further information uh, about online application and uh, what documents uh, you should prepare before applying for for application 
and uh, two confidential referees are required in support of an application then payment of application fee and acknowledgement from the university an application is valid and accepted only when the payment procedure are successfully completed an applicant who wishes to apply for two programs shall submit two applications and make two payments so if you scroll down here you can see online online admission system just click here so research post graduate programs program information for research post graduate programs important notes to applicants for mphil phd program please read the important notes to applicants for mphil phd programs before you apply so by clicking here you can uh, check the important notes for mphil phd programs before you apply during the normal application period application may apply for admission by online application duplicate applications for the same program will not be proceed so um, check these points and click here apply online so if you have account then just sign in otherwise click here create account for creating account just write your email set your password again enter your password and this verification code and just click create account so when you create account you will receive this email you are receiving this email because you need to finish activation process on OAS please go to the following page to activate account so click here and sign in so click here new application so from here select sub degree program undergraduate program taught postgraduate program or research postgraduate program so because you are applying through HK PhD fellowship scheme so click here check this I confirm that I have read and understood the information above and click start application So first is personal information you have to write here your surname first name and if you have any other name middle name then write this uh, from here select your gender then select your date of birth place of birth then select your nationality so from here select your application identity are you a non-local applicant or you are local applicant yes I am non-local applicant no I am a local applicant so select this according to you and then click continue so after selecting non-local then please indicate your nationality passport issuing country or region so from here select your nationality and click continue So here write your passport number or your travel document number then write your address in three lines select your country region your city zip code and for emergency just uh, give the information of your close relation first name last name middle name relationship and then his or phone number after personal particular second is study program So in study program you can not change your program choice once it has been submitted please make sure that you select your first choice of study of program in the first application and select your second choice of study program in the second application you submit. So from here select the program of study. You are required to obtain a valid reference number assigned by the research grant council otherwise your application will not be considered under the Hong Kong PhD fellowship scheme for detail please refer to the RGC website. So reference number assigned by RGC for HKPFS applicant so uh, you already receive your reference number by email so right here your reference number you will also be considered for admission to the university by regular places with postgraduate studentship please check the boxes below if you 
do not wish to apply for admission to the university by regular places do not wish to apply for the post graduate studentship and uh, Here write your uh, preferred supervisor. Your indication here is for reference of the university only. Name of your preferred supervisor if. So next is academic qualification. You are required to provide detail of your all academic qualifications at bachelor level or above if applicable. So from here just give all the informations program completed from to. Uh, time period name of college university country region of study level of qualification mode of study degree major level of study title of award honors award if you have date of award year of study means of qualification type of grade and uh, out of highest point overall gpa out of highest point then grades scores attained and if you want to add uh, some other qualifications just then just click here add and you can add other qualifications here and after filling this just save continue next is language test if you have TOEFL then give the information of TOEFL And if you have any other Cambridge test of proficiency in English language, then you can give the information here. And then move to the next step, research experience and research plan. So here describe your related experience or participation in research project, if any, your proposed research topic. So here give the information about your research. If you have any international experience or vision statement then give the information here all statements here confidential references two confidential references are required in support of an application three confidential references are necessary in support of an application to PhD in business program so if you are applying for business program then you have to um, then you have to give uh, three uh, information of three references otherwise um, two references are required at least one should be an academic referee please click add to fill in the details of the references please download the confidential referees report form please complete part a of the report form and send them to your referees for completion of part b the referees should return the completed form directly to the school of graduate studies of lingnan university by post fax or email so here add the referees information title first name second name position institution uh, give all the information and click save and if you uh, when you give the when you want to give the information of second referee then just again uh, click add and you can give the information of second referee next is professional qualification and awards if you have then give all the information about your awards if you have any well if you have any work experience then give the information of work experience duration full time part time nature of organization name of organization if you have any publications then give the information of publications and uh, if you did any training or internships then give information of internships extra curricular activities optional volunteer work or uh, if you have any volunteer work experience then give information next is upload center please provide the following documents Here you have to upload your documents, which documents, your transcript, graduation certificate, detailed research proposal in MS Word format only, other supporting documents, substantiate so qualification in the application and uh, the online admission system would not allow applicant to submit an application unless the detailed research proposal have been uploaded. The system only accept PDF, GIF, JPG, PNG or MS Word files. 
if the file size of this supporting document has exceeded the upload limit 15 MB for a document and 50 MB in total, please send the remaining supporting documents to the School of Graduate Studies by this email. Please do not upload the copy of your identity travel document to the online admission system. Please do not post the document to the School of Graduate Studies after uploading them to the online admission system except otherwise requested. So for uploading your document just click here drop file or from here you can upload the file just click here select file and select the transcript then again click here select file and select the graduation certificate. So next is survey. How do you know this program? Print newspaper, online newspaper. So fill this according to you. Declaration of relationships. Do you have any personal relationship with any employee of the university who assume teaching role in the program application? You are a family member, a relative or a close friend of any relevant employee of the university or your family member is a close friend of any relevant employee of the university, yes or no. Payment. Next is payment. And, uh, and uh, this is the application fee, total amount. So I have read and agree with the declaration. So just click here preview check again all the information you uh, give is correct or not and if you want to make some changes then you can make changes in your application if you uh, correctly fill all the application form then just click here submit after submitting the application just wait for admission announcement hope you guys understand Hope you understand guys how you can apply for PhD fellowship scheme 2022-23 for LinkedIn University and like this you can apply for other universities. If you have any question then ask me in comment section. I will be happy to answer all your queries. If you like my video please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon button. See you in another interesting and informative video. Take care. Bye bye.